So here we have 30 plus 20. So we start with 30, so I can find 30 on my 100 square. And if I want to add 20, I know that 20 is two tens. So if I add one 10, I'll have four tens, so 40. And if I add another 10, I'll have five tens altogether, so I'll have 50. So I've added 20 because I've added two tens, and this has given me my answer of 50. Now this is interesting. We know that 3 plus 2 is 5. And this is very similar to what we're doing here, except that instead of 3 units plus 2 units, we have 3 tens plus 2 tens. Now we have 50 add 40. So I can find 50 on my 100 square, and if I want to add 40, I know that 40 is 4 tens. So if I add 1 ten, I'll have 60. If I add 2 tens, I'll have 70. 3 tens, I'll have 80. And 4 tens, I'll have 90. So I've added 40 because I've added 4 tens, and this has given me my answer of 90. And again, notice the similarity when adding tens and adding units. 5 plus 4 is 9, so 5 tens plus 4 tens is 9 tens, or 90. Now, 40 add 30 on 100 square, so we find 40 on our 100 square, and what are we going to do now? Well, if we're adding 30, we need to add 3 tens, so we can go down 1, 2, 3. So 40 add 30 is 70. But you don't really need a 100 square to answer this question. How could you add 40 and 30 mentally? Well, if you know that 4 and 3 is 7, then you know that 4 tens add 3 tens is 7 tens. Now 50 add 50. So we find 50 on our 100 square. And if we're adding 50, we're adding 5 tens, so we can go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 50 add 50 is 100. And again, if we know that 5 add 5 is 10, we know that 50 add 50, or 5 tens add 5 tens, is 10 tens which is a hundred.